but I know it very well. It was supposed to be just another run-of-the-mill political debate with local candidates when things got weird. Any of the other council members receive the questions ahead of time? No. I, I don't think so. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Muckleteo City Council candidate Elizabeth Crawford catches her opponent, Peter Zeev, with the questions to the debate. She's, she's suggesting that Peter, you have the questions? No. Okay. He denies it, but there it is. The questions typed in black, his responses written in red. Yeah, and those are the exact questions word for word. Brandon Gustafson is the editor of the Muckleteo Beacon. He confronted Zeev and took these pictures. And I ask him point blank, do you have a copy of the questions? And he said yes. Zeev initially said a friend who was the publisher of the Linwood Times gave him the questions. The publisher flatly denies that. Later, Zeev changed his story, saying another candidate, whom he refused to name, provided the list. Regardless, Gustafson says it was wrong. I was upset because I helped write basically every question that was asked. And, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a journalist. The the main thing is integrity. Peter Zeev owns aerospace manufacturer Electro Impact and was fined $485,000 in 2017 for discriminating against Muslims in the workplace. He also sent an anonymous mailer to voters in Muckleteo railing against a proposed mosque in town. City Council President Christine Cook says the Muckleteo Chamber of Commerce sponsored the forum and will be investigated. What does this say to the voters in Muckleteo about the integrity of the process here? Well, that's the main concern. The, the most important thing would be to, to do the investigation that the chamber is, is talking about and look for ways to try to make the process different in the future so that these things can't happen. And late today, the council told us they've completed their investigation. They say they still don't know who gave Zeev those questions. We spoke with uh, Mr. Zeev today by email. He uh, apologized today. He also said he, he considers this a lapse of judgment, but still, he would not give up who gave him those questions. Live in Muckleteo tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.